Hey guys, I want to tell you about a brand new study that my team got published just yesterday, published ahead of print in the Journal of Applied Biomechanics. And the title of the study was, or is, uh, a comparison of gluteus maximus, biceps femoris, and vastus lateralis EMG amplitude in the barbell, American, and band hip thrust variations. So we looked at 13 trained women, all bikini competitors or powerlifters, and uh, we had them perform three different hip thrust variations. We looked at mean and peak values in the upper glutes, lower glutes, hamstrings, and quads. So let me show you the different variations. The standard hip thrust is just like this. I'm going to do three reps. To perform the American hip thrust, you scoot up higher like this. And it just has a different feel to it. So the American hip thrust looks like this. And then the band hip thrust is like this. Okay, so let me tell you about the results. Basically, the barbell hip thrust seems to be the superior exercise for the glutes. It beat out the band and the American hip thrust variations in most, uh, most things, most muscle activation. However, the American hip thrust, one interesting thing about the American hip thrust is that it activated a little, a little bit more hamstrings and a little bit less quads than the barbell hip thrust. So if you're the type that feels barbell hip thrust in the quads a ton, you might like the American hip thrust more. But an interesting thing is that each variation, uh, each variation had certain people who had their highest total with that variation. So for, for example, Sometimes you'll get people who say, I feel band hip thrust a lot more than barbell hip thrust, or I feel barbell hip thrust a lot more than band hip thrust, or I feel American hip thrust way more than I feel barbell hip thrust, meaning they feel it more in the glutes. And this study um, kind of sheds some light on that. Some people are getting more, you know, more glute activation depending on the variation. Um, so when just determining what exercise you're going to perform, which variation you're going to perform, you should take into account, you know, comfort. Some people feel a lot more comfortable performing the band hip thrust. Um, some people don't have access to do band, so they have to do barbell. Some people, you know, it feels uh, easier on their back when they do the American hip thrust. So take these things into consideration because the muscle activation wasn't totally different between the three different variations, but I'm going to have a full write-up on my blog and also a link to download the full paper in case you want to look at the tables and, uh, and the graphs um, associated with this study. So take a look at the blog. Thanks.